Sut Nerd Migos in the Jive Talking Nerd John Norgrove. We've got wife here. We're here for another Star Trek Thursday. This is actually on Thursday. Um, because I want to make we did it. every single day of my life as busy as humanly fucking possible. <laughs> Anywho, so uh, we just got done watching season two, episode two of Star Trek Lower Decks. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I just looked up the name of this episode. It's something K it's with K it's his eyes open. With his eyes open. Ah. Um, which is uh, which is a fucking great title. Um, but okay, so. This was a great episode. I would argue this was even better than the first episode. Absolutely. Even totally better than agree. the first episode. Way more Easter eggy. I mean, like, the first episode was Easter eggy, but this yeah. episode, a lot of when Easter, a lot Easter of eggs. eggs. Um, a whole dozen. Yeah, but so, um, so, so let's just get right into the plot, huh? Yeah. All right, so the A plot is basically... New dude shows up in the lower decks crew. He gets in some into some beef with Mariner, and Mariner and 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 uh, Tendi and Rutherford and this new dude have to go to a collector's ship and like clear it of anything that can vaporize this like squid man. Um, but uh, that that doesn't go according to plans at all. And there's like a nice little back and forth between like Mariner and this guy. Um, oh, and they are introduced to the new chief of security for the um, USS Cerritos, uh, whose name is Kayshawn, and he's a Tamarian. Uh, so he's uh, one of those people who speak what with the Darmok and Jalad at Tanagra. Um, and so the whole episode, he's like sliding like, <laughs> like, you know, uh, like you know, Shaka when the walls fell in, and Shaka with his arms open, and shit. It's, it's and fucking yeah. great. And he's I blaming it on his uh, trans. Yeah, he's just like, oh, what's the Federation word for Shaka with his arms open? You know, like it's it's so funny. Holy shit! So almost immediately, so they're clearing stuff out. Squid dude does some squirrely Dan shit, and um, so they basically like immediately the like security system activates, turns a Kayshawn into <laughs> into a puppet, like a hand like puppet. Like a cute little like doll. Like a doll. It's adorable. Um, <clears throat> please sell those. If anybody listening to this knows Paramount, make that happen. I yeah. will buy one. No question. I'd buy a hundred, I'd spend a hundred dollars for one. <laughs> like, <laughs> serious, like dead serious. I'm spending a fucking fortune on that bloody Enterprise D I'm building. Um, so like, yeah. But, um, so yeah, he gets turned into a doll. They gotta, like, like, we gotta run through a myriad of collection rooms to escape. And they basically, Mariner and, and the new dude realize that they're both, like, overly focused on being in charge. So they're just like, <laughs> Tindy Rutherford, what would you do? And Tindy and Rutherford are just like, done. Uh, and it's a less dangerous plan, which is hilarious. Yeah, and it's the least dangerous. And they're just like, oh, like they're like, why didn't you tell us to do that before? And they're like, well, you guys were in charge, so we just like didn't say anything. It was adorable. Yeah. Um. So they end up having to like escape Pod out, and like it all works out. I mean, not for the squid guy. He gets crushed by a giant Federation skeleton, like giant Federation <laughs> officer, human skeleton. Uh. So I guess he's dead. <laughs> but like that's the that's the the a plot. Even though it's the a plot, I would almost argue that it takes a back burner to the significantly more important b plot, which is kind of giving me what I asked for last time in the form of what's happening to Boimler on the Titan, but also kind of a letdown. So uh, again, it opens into Boimler on the Titan, like just like screaming as they're like <laughs> shooting at, at at these other guys. And uh, come to find out, this the pack lids are like using some ore to create some super weapon, and they're like the pack lids are not smart enough for this. And so they figure like we're gonna we're gonna like go to this mining planet that the pack lids are gonna attack next. We're gonna like sneak something onto their ship so we can figure out who the pack lids got this technology from or whatever. So they go to this planet, and of course, Boimler is like not good at this stuff. Um, so they end up, like, kind of screwing up and getting, like, trapped in a room where the pack lids are using a saw, like a hammer, to hammer through a door. It's fucking hilarious. It's, it's so, so great. funny. I love the pack lids in Honestly, that might be the Lower best Dex. part of the whole episode. They're so funny. I, for me, it's, it's the, it's the, um, it's the new security officer speaking, speaking in his native tongue, like, sliding that <laughs> into English. Uh, but that's just because, like, I've legitimately had conversations that way before. Um, but, but, uh, with, like, other Trekkie friends. But, um, so, like, 
uh, Boimor basically like snaps at his like cohorts. Um, who I don't even know that we got, like, names for. I mean, we probably did, but, like, um, I didn't catch them. I don't know. And um, they're like, we're going to shoot our way out of this. And Boimler's just like, no, didn't sign up for this. I want to be on, like, the Enterprise D, where we're just, like, doing, like, we're, like, talking to people. And we're like, I want to be on a on a string quartet. And, like, he's just like, I'm tired of all this action-packed drama. And uh, so he realizes through him, like, telling this story that, like, the secret to them being able to escape is basically the same, like, weird field nonsense that allowed Riker to be duplicated. So he does that and everybody escapes, but secretly he got duplicated. Um, so Riker in just, just like the most Federation Riker. nonsense way is like, listen, I would love to have two of you cause you guys are awesome. But Federation says that's probably not great for the ship. So one of you guys is gonna have to leave. And like our book, Theoretically, our Boimler, be prepared for our Boimler yeah, to secretly be yeah. an evil Boimler, by the by. But, like, our Boimler is just like, I'll go back to the Cerritos. And then it's like, wait a minute, the other Boimler didn't say anything. The other Boimler was just like, I don't know what was going on. I just nodded with you because I thought it was a twins thing, which is great. Yeah. And so our Boimler returns to the Cerritos. Our Boimler returns to the Cerritos. And, uh, like, basically the whole, like, oh, this new guy that's on the lower decks, they're finally becoming friends, him and Mariner. Mariner's just like, shut it down, get the fuck out of here. Like, it was what's so up? Sad. It was super sad. Yeah, I really wanted that relationship like, to develop. Like, he was finally gonna, like, yeah. be yeah. friends. Actually, if he becomes evil boy Miller, I bet you he's the one who saves them. Yeah, I mean, I feel yeah. like even evil, even evil boy Miller is not gonna be, like, that evil. You know, like, I feel like he's going to be, I feel like he's going to be like, I'm evil Boimler. And they're like, what did you do? And he's like, I put my sheets on backwards. And they're like, all yeah. right, dog. He's like, you see this shirt? It's we're, not the right We're not going to reintegrate you into the original Boimler. We're just going to let it slide because your evil is like tiny. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because yeah. Boimler's such a goody goody. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we'll see what the next episode holds with regard to potentially evil Boimlers. Um, but, uh, so we kind of get like everybody's like, oh, let's, like, what have we done, Mer? Like, team up. And then, like, they're, you know, they're in, like, the lounge and the camera, like, pans back and over <laughs> to the new security officer, like, like, did you just walk in here because you've been, like, Shaka with his arms open through my mind the whole night? Or, or which, whichever one he used. I, I forget which, which exact one he used <laughs> to some officer next to him. And she just, like, looks at him. And, and then just, just gets backs up, and leaves. up and leaves. And she doesn't like, even, like, finish her drink. Yeah, take she just it. leaves. She's just like, I'm done here. <laughs> I'm done. It's so good. Oh yeah. my god. And then after she leaves, he takes like another drink and he's like, Shaka when the walls fell. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Basically. Just like, Mer um, <laughs> I guess there was technically a C plot about um, about the captain. The captain yeah. getting her review and potentially being pushed up to like a better ship. Uh, but she's like too much of a micromanager. And then she's just like, this is what happens when I don't micromanage. <laughs> Officers get turned into puppets. Kind of a thing, yeah. But yeah. I, I don't know that we're funny gonna micromanager I don't know jokes that we're gonna about get it. that I think it's addressed good. though, because they would either have to move the sh like. I don't know that there's an end goal to her plot of being. I mean, I guess maybe she could just like grow to love the Cerritos and not want a, a, a promotion a or whatever. Yeah. But like, if she leaves, then are we gonna have bloody ransom be the captain? That sounds. That sounds chaotic. Well, that sounds like a totally different paradigm. Yeah, that's a completely different. Yeah. That's a completely different beast, right? Uh, or are they gonna like bring the whole crew over to a new ship, which would be, I guess, interesting because you would have like new sets and like new ship stuff and all and that it would kind be, of stuff. Like presumably a larger ship, so there yeah. would probably already be. It would, well, I mean, there would be, be additional crew. Yeah, there would also be extra crew and stuff. See. But like, I don't know that they're gonna do that. I mean, you know, maybe it's definitely like like. It would fit within the, the territory of, like, a refit ship, you know, where, like, oh, we've decided to upgrade this thing, but instead they're just, like, upgrading the whole ship. But yeah. then you, like, lose the Cerritos and the California-class starship, which would be, like, kind of booty. Because yeah. I, I really love the Cerritos and I love its design. So I, I don't know where that's going. I don't know that I'm super happy with that particular, like, arc right now. But, like, we'll see where it ends up. Yeah. But I, I feel like the main thing I got out of this is, one, the security officer needs to be in more fucking episodes. He's yeah. my damn favorite. <laughs> and two, someone at Evil Boimler. Because one of these Boimlers is evil. 
Yeah. Right? Like, there's yeah. no way that he got transported, duplicated, and they're both, like, exactly Boimler. One of them's either evil or, like, alien. Or, you know what would be really great is if it was the Packlet's plan all along. Oh, and it maybe. wasn't actually Boimler that escaped, but it's it was it was like secretly like like something. a shape shifting or like a pack lid got Gene tailored to look yeah, like yeah. a human. You know how like the um, Zinti were doing that, and a bunch of other people were doing that in like Enterprise or something. Yeah. So, but also, and we're I'm, we're just not going to go over because we don't have enough time. This collector's house had so much stuff. Oh my god. I, like, I'm personally gonna go through the episode probably several more times just to, like, frame by frame all of his collection, because I'm crazy. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not gonna, we're not, we don't need to talk for that long here, so we're not gonna do that here. But suffice it to say, it was great. Um, how many things did you catch and recognize? Because the answer is a fucking lot. A lot of things from a lot of stuff. It was a lot. Let me tell you what. It was very exciting. I was very into it. Um, but either way, what did you think of the show? What do you think of the episode? What do you think about a potentially evil boy more? And uh, what do you think about them maybe changing ships or changing captains? How weird would that be? Yeah. Um, but yeah. Don't forget to like this video, comment below, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Uh, I've been John Norgrove. This has been Wife. This has been Star Trek Thursday. This is a quickie uh, recap and review. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Uh, Darmok and Gelada Tagra.